President Biden today announcing more a student loan forgiveness. The White House canceling more than $7 billion in debt, which will affect 277,000 Americans, mostly in payment uh, plans determined by income. This comes on top of the debt cancellation program announced earlier in the week for giving up to 20,000 in interest for people, uh, millions and millions of people. But uh, that one, by the way, is already facing legal challenges. Kyle Welsh joins us with perspective on this, associate accounting professor at the George Washington University School of uh, Business. Uh, welcome. We uh, appreciate you coming on, Kyle. And, you know, it's interesting to look at this um, from a number of different ways. I would just say it's kind of a big picture. Now that there have been so many announcements. You know, you're the accounting guy. Is this, is this smart? Is this a, a good way to go about it? Do the numbers, do the numbers work, do you think, in, in loan forgiveness? So it's interesting how they're pitching this. <clears throat> Biden's pitching this just as a general forgiveness. And uh, the reality is, is our system's broken. What we have is a system where uh, schools try to get customers to come in to buy their product. Millions are spent on advertising at these schools to try to get customers to come in and get enrolled in programs. And, and then once the customers consume the, the content, get their degree on the wall, they leave and there's no obligation for them. And so this is one of those, the, the ways that... Um, it just kind of kicks the can down the curb for mm -hmm. accountability. Right now, if we say the government's responsible for the university not providing a good education and the student being mismatched, we're saying the government's gonna fix that. And if you went and bought a car and the car didn't start and you couldn't go anywhere, you wouldn't blame the bank where you got the loan, you would blame the automobile manufacturer. And so the problem here is that this is kind of like writing a check off into to, oh, let them eat cake type of thing. And, right. and the problem is, is it doesn't solve the core problem. The good news is, though, is that, and I wish they framed it like this, they there are a bunch of people that start out in junior college and programs and then bail out really early. And this new program targets kind of them. Uh, you, you get debt forgiveness if it's under $12,000. The way uh, school costs these days, it's a lot more than that if you graduate. So most likely these are people that started a program and okay. left early. And so there's something there that needs to be done. The fact that U.S. taxpayers that are, are paying the bills are fixing it is kind of the question. Yeah, right, because someone's got to pay for yeah. it at some point, like anything yeah. with uh, financially. Uh, someone pays, uh, and, you know, the, whether it's in the debt or whatever it is, it just doesn't go away, to your point. So, you know, that, you're right. That is interesting. It comes as we've been, I don't know if you know, but we've been having kind of this wider conversation on our network now for a number of weeks about... Essentially, like, you know, is college worth it, right? And uh, Chris yes. Cuomo's done. He did a big special the other night with uh, Mike Rose, the dirty jobs guy, and they were talking about that. And they came. this came up, you know, the debt. You, so many kids have so much debt. Let me just play a little bit of Mike Rowe, and then we'll come back and kind of have that, that part of it. H here it is. Great. Still lending money we don't have to kids who are never going to be able to pay it back to train them for a bunch of jobs that, frankly, aren't in demand anymore. That's the bananas. <laughs> is it bananas? Yes, it is. It is bananas to get people to go to school and say, all you need is a degree and then the, you got a golden passport for life. And it is so false. What you need to do is to get knowledge and a way to signal to the market. A university could be a great way to do that if you actually pursue something that's useful. One of the one of the biggest problems that we tell people is, is follow your heart and follow your passion. And, and when you do that, people end up doing things that don't necessarily match up with what's in the market. You need to think, okay, I wanna have a job at some point. I'd like to make money at some point, that sure. would be nice. I like a number of things, where do those overlap? Instead, we've been telling people, oh, you just go get this golden passport and the rest of your life is gonna be great. Mm -hmm. And that's just simply not the case. You have to do things like engineering, accounting, math. It's not, you gotta do things that like, there's a demand in the market. If you go do your, uh, your French poetry major, you're gonna love it, but there's not much demand for it. Yeah, it's a Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.